I like my body best in the morning when I have just woken up. Angry, tired, resentful, I stumble to the bathroom, and as I go through the motions of this tiresome morning ritual, my hands cup my abdomen, I tell myself to enjoy this moment because this is the flattest my stomach will ever hope to be. There's a metaphor here, but I'm too hungry to articulate it right now. I like my body best when I am sleeping. It's the law of inertia, the tendency of a body at rest to remain at rest. My heart and mind are finally at peace. I'm feeling, I'm thinking, I tell myself. If my body is a resting object, then this world and the people in it are the unbalanced force that acts upon me, spurring me into motion, into action and reaction, when all I want to do is sleep. I like my body best in the dark, because hidden away in the shadows, I sometimes forget I even have a body. I can forget that I am too short, too small, too thin for some, too fat for others, too soft for my own good. The stars are shining, the moon is weaving her dreamy nighttime magic, and I remember that we are all astronauts, wearing suits made from stardust, hurtling through time and space on a vessel crafted from water, dirt, and magma in the presence of such thoughts. Insignificant things like not being able to reach the top shelf, or how my eyebrows don't match, or society's expectations of beauty tend to slip my mind. I love my body best on a sunny day. I smack my lips as I sip at the sunlight. I revel as I bathe in rivers of celestial gold so bright that I can feel my skin glowing long after I've come back indoors. I must be solar powered because at this moment, it is impossible to hate my body. How can I, with the sun beaming down at me, how can I when I can turn my face towards the sky how can I, when I feel warm, vital, alive, blessed? I love my body because my body loves me. She takes care of me, like a mother cares for her child. My heart beats, my lungs breathe, my blood rushes in my veins, my fingers flex and close against my palm, my mouth forms words, my tongue tastes, my eyes watch and water, my feet take me where I want to go. If this poem sounds contradictory, then I apologize. But understand, there is a difference between like and love. Two intersecting circles in the Venn diagram of life, overlapping but not identical. You may not always like your parents, but you will always love them. Learning lessons is not usually an enjoyable process. That's why they call them growing pains. I may not always like my body, but I will always love her. We depend on each other like an old married couple wearing color-coordinated outfits, like a pair of matching socks, like a partner, like a teammate, like a sibling, like a twin, you see. I've known her my whole life. I may not always like my body, but I will always love her. Honestly, if I don't, then who will? You can paint or sculpt a naked lady, and people will call it art. Botticelli's Venus rising from the sea, Rubens and his three graces dancing wild and carefree, amputee Aphrodite. Proof etched into stone and worn by time that brokenness is not always a deal breaker to being beautiful. Sometimes it's a prerequisite. You can paint or sculpt a naked lady and people will call it art, but the minute you put a mirror in her hand, she somehow becomes less worthy as if the fact that she is beautiful, that she is a work of art, is only valid if she herself does not see it. When you call me vain, I try not to let the sheer confusion show up on my face. I try to figure out how I can be narcissistic when I hate myself so much. But I never say this out loud because I remember that casual self-loathing is only ever funny to me and to random strangers online because I remember that it's better to be accused of vanity than of low self-esteem. When you call me vain, I will take a deep breath and try to channel Beyonce. Inhale positivity, exhale anxiety. As my breath is slowly released from my body, 
so too is my urge to protest, to tell you why you're wrong. I make a joke instead, but tonight, I'm trading in my punchlines for uppercuts, my defense mechanisms for offensive truths. Let's just say that I have earned the right to vanity. These selfies are the spoils of war. This self-love is hard won. I have been fighting this battle for so long, and on the days I triumph, I do it mightily. When you call me vain, I will agree. I am more than content to be both warrior and bard. Who else will sing about my exploits and the monsters I have slain, if not me? You see, the bastards always come to me in the dark, at night, when I am alone, but crowded by these same old claustrophobic thoughts. How can you feel like a hundred eyes are on you when no one is watching? Sometimes I fail, sometimes I surrender, sometimes my pride is mortally wounded and I run away, bleeding and battered, but on the days I triumph, I do it mightily. Keep your Venuses and Aphrodites and Botticelli beauties. I'd rather be truth, coming out of her well to shame mankind. So when you call me vain, I will say yes. I am. I mean, what's not to love? Thank you.